I wish I could get another one over here. It'd be perfect for me. Well, if it was easy, someone else would be doing it. Good afternoon, YouTube. What you guys are looking at is a rolled over. It's like an excavator with a, a drill attachment. Those ones that go into the ground are put in posts and stuff. And it's 58,000 pounds. Now you'll see Hulk up there and just behind Hulk is Big Flipper. I got Alex with me. Um, it took us 60 to 90 minutes just, just to get our trucks in that spot. We are in Eagle Rock and there's no room for these big trucks. I'm not kidding. I'm gonna throw in a montage right now of uh, how much we struggled. And I'll do it in fast forward because like I said, it's almost 90 minutes of us trying to get here. It was mission impossible. Oh, there we go. That's the attachment right there. Huh. And it looks like it's doing this, creating a support for a foundation. I'm guessing a house is going to go here. How deep does that go? Oh, my God. You do not want to fall in that hole. So let me make that treacherous hike all the way back up. Oh, and this is uh, the only way to access it from up top. Because I know I'm going to get comments. There's nothing down here. Absolutely nothing. Houses on each side. And then a tiny, tiny, tiny street up there. A lot of resistance from the neighbors. No one wanted to move cars. But we made it work instead of turning it down. And yeah, this is steep. I'm gonna record this guy walking down just so you guys can gauge how bad it is. I'll throw up a link right here, but we did an excavator in Beverly Hills right next to Dr. Phil's house. It's like, a, I think my second highest viewed video at like a 2.3, 2.4 million views. And that one was hard. This makes that one look like child's play. You'll see why right now. Hey man, thank you for moving that truck. Oh yeah, man. I'm, I'm so, I, I went to when I left here. I went out to get the key. Like, I saw him. I said, "When they get around, they're gonna need that truck out of here." You know what's funny? They told us, "Hey, go around the other side. It's easier." It was ten times harder, man. Ten times harder. Man. Ten times harder. Yeah. These streets aren't made for it, my truck. It, it was longer. It was longer, and there was more cars. Right. But thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are all right. That's all. I want him over. <laughs> you guys don't know he was nice giving time. Alex a really hard time earlier. Mr. Patience, Saint, Saint of Patience, was testing his patience. So I'm gonna just stand back and show you guys the game plan. There's only no real way to do this job that's, that's easy. I was thinking of putting Big Flipper right here, but you see all these lines right here. And we can't get one in front of the other. That's impossible. So what we're going to do is we're going to stagger the trucks. I did this. In fact, when Alex first started, he was training. He did a rollover with me that I didn't record. But I used this method for the first time. So it's fitting we're doing it again. By staggered, we're going to have one truck obviously next to the other. Both of our booms are going to be out over the side towards the excavator. That way we're both, um, since the excavator is not like a 40 foot container going to be concentrated you'll see when it's all set up i'm going to wait for alex to do his outriggers and it's my turn what's up youtube josh here just jumping in really quick to uh preface this this is what i was talking about earlier how it took us two hours to get there now i'm not exaggerating it really took us two hours from the time we parked to get these trucks into position where you saw in the very beginning staggered like that this was probably the hardest I've ever had to back up. It, we didn't think we could do it. First, this is sped up in 800%, 800%. These cars wouldn't move. The owners weren't home. It was just not one of those jobs, just impossible. But, you know, as always, we made it work. Um, we got inches from all, all these cars. And then you have the low clearance trees to watch out for the stacks, poles, fire hydrants. It was just mission impossible, man. This was probably, more stress inducing than a standard rollover for us at least but as you know at Beppa's over here we we don't turn down jobs no matter how crazy they seem no matter how hard 
it's just something we don't do and then this is just part from uh, my dash cam going forward so you can see from that angle how crazy it was it was just something i didn't even think we would be able to do to be honest but we did manage to get it as you see in that staggered formation i went this way and alex unfortunately they told them the back way would be faster or easier and as we see right now it was a lot harder due to the power lines on the actual site we couldn't put one truck in front of the other we needed both our booms as close together as possible off the side and if we were in front of the other we would be working off our corners and with 60,000 pounds it's just suicide it's not possible and if you pay attention here to the top right corner this goes for 40 minutes you'll see 40 minutes in about 60 seconds worth of footage just to back up not even an eighth of a mile it, it was that bad so i didn't include all of it just so you guys could get to the video because i'm telling you now this was top three hardest jobs i've ever done in my life this is up there now with that mixer in the house that got famous but this would probably be number two just because of this part alone and as you'll see with the excavator it took us four different attempts but hey this is just something you don't learn in class you don't get taught if at first you don't succeed you know you have to re-rig you have to adapt you have to keep doing it until the job gets done let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you guys are new to this channel, seeing this for the first time, consider subscribing. I'm so close to 150,000. Would love to hit that this month. Enjoy. Twenty-five thousand dollars for pulling that up the hill, right? Give or take. Yeah. Yeah. He's twenty-five grand. Give or take. Yeah. Two? Yeah. Josh, just drop that. Uh, um, we have a consolidated. We have one for later. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there in Eagle Rock. That, 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 that doesn't mean anything to me. On that, on that side? Yeah, on my rear. Right here? Other way. Yeah. This is a high curve. Let me go down. Yeah. Sick. Ah. It's very hot. Quieres unas chelas, toma. Las modelos.
got 30 foot reach? Oh no, uh, my highest point, uh, it's 42 feet. One foot from that stupid line right there. This was not easy to do. I had to crib my rear outriggers. And this is what a staggered formation looks like. I've only done uh, this like three, four times in my career. My turn. Uh, I did another pretty, pretty tough excavator job yesterday. Uh, it was actually a reach truck. So my lines were a little bit off compared to the where they're, they're used to. I fixed that really quick. Now we just walk out the cables. Now there's no guarantee this plan's gonna work. We don't have a choice. Look how close that turret is. <laughs> Huh? Oh, yeah.
Very brutal. <laughs> well, it's too hot. I need a cooling blanket. And that's what the unit looks like uncovered. You think it's more than 58? Yeah. It's a big boy, dude. Real big boy. Put the camera down for this part. I'm gonna tug on the lines to walk them all the way down. Sí, pero a veces tiene uh, eyeballs adentro. Ese no le he mirado. Está tapado, eso no lo puedo mirar muy bien. Some it doesn't have any any eyelets on top, but I think I'm just gonna grab it from the middle of the boom at the bottom. Put a 5/8 there. For me, I'm gonna grab from the bottom there, and then run a strap up. So pretty much be grabbing this middle in between that little uh, that little ladder. Just gotta protect it against the edge, and then I'll probably run another one from the middle of the boom right there. Ideally, I would like to grab something from, from back here, but there's nothing. Okay, let's do this. Unless we dig right there and I grab from the track. We'll, we'll rig me first. We'll see what Hulk does. Maybe I can lift it up enough to where we can get a point. Oh, it would have to be from the bottom up. Because these are exposed. These D-rings down here are exposed. Unless we could dig under here and then run the strap to this back portion. If I start lifting up from the boom, at least we can get a point. Well, from underneath the boom to the front of the body. Well, right there, so. right there, I'm good on this side, so I could get a middle one, easy. From Honestly, the that's all we might need. Yeah. So I attach two separate points to that, right? And I, I do the same in the front. I go to the oil thing itself and the top of the boom. Yeah, we could do that. All right, I'm gonna grab a. Just pray that it comes up straight. I like to start bringing it up this hill. Oh my God, we're here till the morning. <laughs> I like the alchemy a lot. Huh? That hole. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is that the one you were talking about? That's the one I was gonna use. From here, going that way, since you're gonna hook up to that over there. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, that way it go. Uh, that way it goes under the boom. You get the uh, the body too that way. Yeah. We don't really need the rear. 
Uh, look how high it's propped up. It's got a horrible slant. Yep. With me focusing on this, you're bringing up the body at the same time. I wish I could get another one over here. It'd be perfect for me. Well, if it was easy, someone else would be doing it. <laughs> Which one's poison oak? That tree right there? No, no. I think you see the bushes right down below you? Right, yeah, you're looking right at it. Down there, I believe it's poison oak. And it grows where you are. Just look around. It's really. Yeah, we don't want to mess with poison oak. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the worst. I, 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 that's why I'm saying something. Thank you. I'm gonna use a chain right here. Cause if I put a shackle there, I'll side load it. And it's only gonna give me half my work. So I could pivot? Yeah, that's that's actually smart, yeah. Yeah, 32K, okay. Josh is almost as smart as Alex. <laughs> You've got no patience or manners. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Nope. And then uh, I just bring a few shackles with me, rig it all up. We're out of here, man. Yeah, nice. and then my 40 at the end, well 80 at the end.
probably good enough. Might be, maybe a little bit more. Oh, I got my rigging all done and connected. <clears throat> Looks like Alex is almost done with his. We're gonna focus on this. This is where all the weight is. So I got the front of the boom and the attachment. Alex is gonna go to the body right here where that shackle is and go underneath and bring the front of the body up with the secondary here on his other winch. <clears throat> Hopefully that'll be enough. We'll land this baby right here. And then from there, hopefully it'll fire up and they can drive it out of here. That's all best case scenario. Now, if they can't start it, but we still manage to up, right? Well, our job's done. They just need a mechanic after that. Like I was telling Alex, it'd be impossible to get it up there because of those wires. And we couldn't transport it on a Lando. We couldn't get a Lando here if we tried or any trailer. Oh, at times like this, I wish I had a hundred million subscribers, like Mr. Beast or something. Imagine. What? At times like this, I wish I had a hundred million subscribers. I forget like a hundred million in the first 10 minutes. Be YouTube rich, and then just hire people to do all this. <laughs> all right, Josh, almost there. Okay guys, we are fully rigged up and it's about to be the moment of truth. I just took Alex's free spool off so he's going to put tension. Now my turn. of hype for this one. All right, now we can kill my free spool. Okay, so I'm gonna just stand on the neighbor's little steps right here. That way I can make sure my cables go smooth. They're over that little fence, which is what I wanted, so I didn't take down any of the wood. Oh, and on that Beverly Hills one, so many misinformed people. There was an excavator smaller than this one on site. And all the YouTube experts just use that to flip it. Impossible. First of all, this unit's way, way, way smaller, this, bu this bucket one. Second, people underestimate how much force it needs to flip this. This is 58, 60,000 pounds dead weight. You have to add multiply to that when you're uprighting it because it's uphill, buried in dirt. And even then, these things aren't built for rigging. Your, your strong is fully retracted and up as, as we are. And on something like that, you'd have to be extended. There's just no room for that. I got tension. Oh, 
I'm good, baby. Now let's go down there and see. Ready? It broke tension. What? Hold on. What happened? I have, I'm just holding it, but I'm pulling with this one, but... That's the one that's breaking, right? Yeah, but I don't want to pull it too much because if I pull from this, it's going to swing my ass end over towards your truck. Okay, so just only help me out with the front, okay? I'm helping you. I need a pull from the back, Josh. All we're doing right there is spinning it and it's, gra it's just moving the dirt. I, I need a pull with that one. That way it spikes over. I need a pull with that one, that way it spikes down. Is it crushed already? I told him it's gonna crush it. Can we hold it and you re it? Where are you gonna go? I can't. We put that piece of wood so that way it would, it would brace it, but it just, it's gonna crush it. All the weight's back there. Yeah. We won't flip it on the back end, but with the three other lines, we will. <sighs> Go to the D ring behind the truck, and now back this way. Around like this? Yes. <clears throat> That's the only way, man. Otherwise, I'm going to keep spinning until it's the front's touching that wall. That's flipper right now. Mm -hmm. Floating full from both outriggers. that wouldn't do much without you in the rear i need you in the rear but we can't because that's stupid yeah i need a rear I, I, the best I, way to do it is cradle it just cradle it like that up so it, it comes so up easy 
right here is going to be weird on the track. Yeah, it's not going to do much. It's going to drag up. You're going to bow up, and I'm going to and I'm going to try to roll. We're going to fight each other. Again. Yeah, that's what. At least you get it up here, you know. I hope so. I hope it's fine because it doesn't move all the dirt. See how I was moving the dirt already? That's why I wasn't coming over because it's just pushing dirt. Realistically, I don't have a plan C or D or anything. I think this is one of those jobs that just, in terms of the way it's just physically impossible. The angle of the space we got. Yeah. What happened? If I'm getting rid of both boom lines, I'm going to keep this one right, which is going to move yeah. to the border potty. Yeah. Which frees up my white line. Get it both attached to here. Yeah, that's what I was going to tell you. With the same line. Oh. So get something like a... But I was going to put another one here so you could attach to it on this point, on the top point. I'll see if it's something like an oblong. Meaning like hook it in the middle and and both of us attach to it? Put the oblong at the end of that shackle? Yeah. You attach to it and I attach to it. My dad's done that before. Yeah, we could do it. What was your idea? Yeah, well I was going to hook up uh, two of them in the middle and then run my singular here so I could, so I could spike it. But since you're gonna detach from that, then we could do that. I'm doing no favors by using two. And I'm gonna boom up higher and retract fully in. I don't need extension for this because it's all the way down here. We both don't need extension. Mm -hmm. In fact, I could probably fit that shack with the twist lock. I just threw that buried. Might be able to fit in there. Well, I brought the other one here, so I, I so I could hook up to it. Well, let's just do that then. You like that? I like too. Yeah. Our lines are not gonna cross though. 
Well, let's check it out. Look how far apart we are. That's not a bad idea, huh? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> because it's got to work. All right, so we'll do that. Uh. Much better. Right there? Still pulling up, huh? Yep. Whoa! Let's, let's go in uh this one? Let's oh. all go at the same time. One, two, three. You slid and I'm floating it. No, I'm sliding the uh, excavator. Look at it. Okay, get rid of that, that spike. Let's focus on these three. So put tension on that lift, but let's just try to look in the room. Eventually, it's gonna get to the point where it's straight with it. Let's just keep going. We got no choice. Keep going, keep going. Bring it up and bring it up. Do not stop. Don't stop, Alex. Spike it, spike it, spike it, spike it. This is the one spike. Nope, you're gonna touch my truck. Touching my truck. Am I? What? I'm gonna touch that house. Yeah, I do. I can't see it. It's getting close. We're gonna hit it. Yeah, huh? We're gonna hit the house. The problem is, is that that spike is working, but I don't have enough weight. Right now, it looks like it wants to come over. We have it in the air.
we have it in the air, Josh. We have it in the air. It slides over his truck. We're too close to that fool's house. By the time that we upright it, the tip of it might hit his house. We have it in the air. So what's spiking is the bottom drill point. That's spiking. But see how everything is in the air? We pretty much have it on a level plane. We have it at zero degrees. <laughs> The problem is, is that I need this one to spike, but it's just yanking this truck over his uh, excavator. I mean, I, I would love to go behind the cab, but. We almost have it. Right here? Right, right under the drill. Maybe I can pick it up. And if the drill drags across it either way, mm -hmm. break it. Okay. You'll we'll see what I mean. Okay. Turn it up there. If you can't see it from that angle. It should be right there. I got it out. It might be behind the flipper. Oh, it's on this side? It's on this side of the uh, retaining wall. Okay. That's your running water, right? It's oh, it's a sewer line going down? Yeah, it's coming over. Coming over? Yeah, hold on. Let me give. Let me pull it more this way. Yeah, it's coming over, Josh. That's good. It's coming up. Yeah. Okay. All right. And after hours and hours, this is our final attempt. We don't give up jobs here, but I got close on this one, man. Whoa! 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 Using this as a dead man did not work. It's too small. And it just kept pivoting the front. So we got rid of my high line in the front all together. And I used both lines to pull from the boom, that bottom D-ring. This is very unconventional, but we're out of options. for the best man. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Try to keep more tension on the back one, Alex. We don't want it sliding no more.
Josh, let me pull it over this way. Go for it. Can you go up on this line a little bit on yours? Of course. We'll go up a little bit. Your truck looks good. It's looking good, Alex, but I'm scared, man. Hold on, let me spike it this way. Please. It's gonna wanna, it's wanna, it's gonna wanna go over that way. Are you sure? See how it's lifting the rear corner? That front weight? Okay, now what if you go with this line to compensate? That's the one I'm going with. No, this one. Pull it over? Try to go with that one. See what that does, bro. It's gonna pull it that way. See? Okay, hold it. Oh, it's doing good. You think so? You don't think when it comes over it might hit the house? Yeah, it will. Hey, no, 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 no. That rig? That what? Is extending. Is it? It's coming out of the piston. Yeah, the piston's extending. I thought it was locked. It's coming out. It's opening up. That cylinder is opening up. Se está saliendo el piston de allá, ¿verdad? It's coming out, right? I told you. It's coming out, right? Man, I knew it. There's no, there's no way we could chain that down. It's hitting the wall? The retaining wall. Yeah, but it's fine. If the going, it'll be fine. You think so? Es que ya no, ya no va a jalar para acá. No, pues no, porque lo estás agarrando de arriba. So, todo lo que va a hacer es que lo va a hacer así. Es todo lo que está haciendo. Por eso inicialmente no quisimos hacer eso. The excavator? That's what I was thinking. Now Pull it that way. Huh? Now we can do that. So, you can spike it? With what? With one of my auxiliaries? Do you need both main lines? Do I need both main lines? I think so. I'm helping you a lot right there. I say I throw one of my auxiliaries to his and spike it that way. Yeah. Okay.
right, so the plan worked to a degree. We, we got it airborne a good amount. But this, this dirt is so soft, all of it. So we can't get traction, it can't pivot. It can't plant itself, it's just bringing it up and at an angle too. Even though I got rid of the boom line, um, it's dangerously close to that wall. I don't know if you guys can tell. So we're gonna run a snatch block to Alex's auxiliary. Let's see, yeah, this will work now. Now that it's up like this, it's gonna be a lot easier to use this as a dead man. Because it's not using all the weight of this excavator pulling up on these tracks right here on this guy. And because the dirt's soft, I personally feel it's gonna do a good job at bringing it up at an angle the way we want it. I had to do a quick walk. There's poison oak down there, by the way. The neighbors were yelling at me not to, to watch out for the poison oak, so good on them. You'll use the same block as the other one, right? Watch your foot. Your right foot, your right foot. Oh, my Jody. Oh! Dad, something happened to Alex. All right. I think that's, he's fine. that's his fault. No one told him to do that. All that working out for what? Uh, you better not find a worker's comp. I don't pay stupidity. Right? You guys should see how freaking dirty we are. So all the rigging for the, uh, the spike, the low pool, is already there to the side from the first chance. I mean, the first time. And this cable's its auxiliary. It's a lot smaller. You can, well, you probably can't tell from the video, but it's a lot smaller than the main lines. Hey, Stavia. But I saw it to come around this way. It should work. Hey, Stavia. He asked already? He told me about an hour ago he asked. Oh. Uh, is everything okay? Yeah, that's what I want. Because I have it in the air over there. ¿Vas a bajar? ¡Ay, mi pie!
Let me shut it up again. Ready? Spike it. Beautiful job, Alex. Head out there. Head out there. That's because they kept sliding this truck. Try to put it in forward gear that way. Savage Vato. Okay, Alex. Is that winch going in, Alex? Huh? The spike, is it going in? No. No? Right, let me try to help you, okay? How close is it to his pad? We'll see right now. I'm gonna have a mark. And he'll let me know. <laughs> I asked this guy to check the wall, and he came back out with his phone to record. <laughs> Ah, oh, screw it. I'll do it myself. Hold on. One second, Alex. Ah, oh, my freaking mountain go right here. Ah. Oof. Yeah, we're doing good. So ready? Is it hitting? No, but can you um, deck winch in, auxiliary line in? I'm trying to. There we go, bro. Alex, hold it. I got an idea, bro. Oh, where is he? You have no tension on these, right? Okay, now we can re-rig. You know what I mean? So these ones right here did great in uh, bringing the track down, but because they're a top pole, this is what I was afraid of. They're not a lift. So it's, it's not gonna plant. That thing is golden there. We're gonna disattach here. And uh pressure the driver.
Mass, mass. It's coming, right? I just want to clear that stupid wall. So close. And the only thing damaged is just this stupid cardboard right here. It's getting caught right there. Alex, we're gonna have to use your most far right line, which is uh, that one, to help me. When you pull it over, it'll give it a, a slight angle. I hope that looked cool, guys. That was intense. Now check this out. Off the coast. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have water that I could buy off of you? I can drink. Yeah? Yes. I buy it off of you. Uh, how many bottles you want? Uh, one, two, oh, three, four total, okay, please. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Well, you got this now, dude. Your main lines ain't doing. Swap one right there, go one on the inside there. Yeah. You'll pull it, it'll pivot it. Yeah, I'll pivot that away from the house. And then when, once we kind of... That way you just control the top. You're not going to no, no, do no, much. No, 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 I'll control the top and I'll put one line here. That line will be mine. Okay. So we can both winch it up. You don't think but that boom will bring it over? Oh, well, of course it will. But I have two lines to it. But let's get it Let's get it up as much as you can first before I, I get rid of one line up there. Yeah, I know. It's hard. I'm Alex. I'm Alex. Alex. Those Alex. Those Alex. 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 I've done a lot of these things and a lot of them have excellent lift points. I'm talking about D-rings, uh, lift points, and the inside eyelids. This one has absolutely none on the top, none on the back on the counterweight itself, not even underneath it, which made it incredibly freaking hard. But man, I'm telling you, this is, I keep doing these jobs where I say, in the future, if I get a similar job, I'll just turn it down. It's just a thrill, man. We got the two Alex's and the foreman. Just pulling out that cable to switch those, and then it's my turn to do my lines. Now that we have it where we want it, we're gonna redirect. So Alex's lines are gonna pull from there, so it's gonna turn it, and then we're gonna drag it up into this spot right here. Look at these dudes up here, posted up, taking shots. Take a shot every time you think it's going to fall, and now they're drunk. You got Tasso. It's okay. I was stomach. Let's throw it over, I catch it. Toma. No quieras? Thank you.
Toma Alex, yo agarro el otro. Sí, ok. Mad close. Let me go up top so I can see the the truck. To the front. Let's re rig to the front. Alex, I'm keeping my lines up here. Yeah, keep them up there. here but that's that's fine and the oil was gonna be on the other side of there had another idea what? I've done it with 77. Okay. Okay. You think I'll need both of them here? Oh, you think I should go individual? Go to the original one you did, right? One lane there, one main there? Okay, I thought so. Is that what you're gonna do? I was gonna do that. We're already away from the hall, I like that. Okay. Yeah. So let me go up there then.
the same method, but we go to the, yeah. the outside track. Yeah, and pull it a little bit more. On both of them? Yeah, both. It won't touch the cab on that side? No, because under here, it's solid. Yeah, that was on the one. No, I know, but my worry is that by the angle, that'll lift it up. And push it up that way? That's what I'm for. That's fine. I'll keep tension on it, so we'll like force it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Hold on. It's moving it. can tell but this thing is moving at a snail's pace but it's moving I just have to make sure that I have uh, not too much tension on the boom Moving the, it's moving your excavator. How about that? What if I lean it? Huh? What if I do this so it leans? Look. Well, you're just spiking it, no? No, I'm floating the out of it. Hold on, Josh. What happened? I go up here and you're the dead waves on the hurry. That's why it's not going out. Now try it. Well, this one, yeah, but the front one. I'm trying to move the front. Here, let me lower this one a little bit.
No. Why? What happened? How, how much am I floating? I know, I was teeter tottering the whole time. I'm gonna let out tension now and see what I do, okay? Come on! Tension, but what about you? Me there. Why don't you pull it out? He wants you to lean it. Well, this is as good as we're going to get it, guys. So what we're going to do is, um, I'm going to use Hulk only to do something a little crazy. I'm going to lean it and almost like I'm going to flip it the opposite way. And then they're going to make a new uh, level ground right here prevent it from going back over. Come on Hulk. Jenna Big Flipper doing all the show. Tell me when to stop. Mass? Good? Hey that's pretty cool man. I got this thing up in the air a good amount. As you can see right there. Climb on the back of containers, but he can't climb down the hill. <laughs> That's pretty cool. He's gonna force it to stay even to offset it. That way, the weight of this thing won't sink. After this, um, I'm not going to record de-rigging, dude. That's going to take us another hour. Alas, night has come. In hindsight, I wish we did this whole job in the night. No more heat, but we got it. I had to hold it for a bit and then move it again. While well, they made a um, foundation from Wish. And then they have that holding it up, so hopefully they can get it going tomorrow. They throw the diesel out. But other than that, it doesn't seem to be too much damage. Mad rigging. Lots of rigging to put away. I'm going to get out of here so the neighbors can be happy. I'll get back to you when that guy's... Uh, I mean, I'll get back to you guys when that part's done. Alright guys, we got way too winded uh, to resume the video. To uh, resume the video after the cleanup, but we're in the trucks. The gate is closed up. They're gonna continue to, I guess, work on it tomorrow. And now comes the absolute horrible part of leaving. If you guys see in the beginning, I mean, it was a nightmare in the day with less cars. Now it's at night and everyone's home. 
So, all hands on deck. Well, Alex and I struggle. Hope you guys enjoy this cool video. Peace. All right, guys. Uh, if you stick around this long, thank you so much. You guys are the best. What an adventure that was. I don't know about you guys, but this was easily one of the top three hardest jobs for both Alex and myself, just in terms of getting there, the difficulty. Now I wanna do this little segment, uh, Josh's breakdown is what I'm gonna call it, uh, just to kind of anticipate all the comments I'm gonna get. Uh, there's kind of a trend, so a lot of people have questions, and since I'm horrible, I mean, I had six hours of footage to piece this together by using my DaVinci software, so it was, it was I rushed this out, just to get this out to you guys quick, but I'm trying to be more active on the comment section, but like I said, it's very hard. So I'm going to try to jump the gun here and answer a lot of people's questions they might have. First, I want to shout out those workers that you've seen. Uh, Alex's older twin and the other guys, they were phenomenal. Absolutely some super hard workers, not afraid to get their hands dirty. They knew their stuff. Uh, yeah, it flipped on them, but I mean, accidents happen. You guys saw how soft that dirt was. It was just a nightmare. So. Without them, uh, this would have been an even longer job. The physical brutality of that call, just walking up that hill every time to get rigging equipment, to re-rig. That's why I was able to cut out so much of the video, but still leave it intact, as a lot of it was just the rigging. You know, going up and down and testing everything. The heat didn't help, you know, close to triple digits there. So thank you again to you guys. Uh, they asked when this would come out. I told them, give it a couple weeks. So if you guys are watching this, rock on. Now, as for the rigging part itself, You'll see in the beginning, I purposely left the intro part longer uh, for the first rig, re-rig, well, for the first initial rigging compared to the re-rigs. Just to show you guys, there was no easy lift points. Now we do these all the time, the, um, the JLGs, the telehandlers, the boom lifts, all those things, dozers, wheel loaders, backhoes, and a lot of them have some really awesome solid lift points. They'll have the eye holes on the top of the body, behind the cab. They'll have lifting compartments within the engine bay, like right there, right away, these big shackle looking holes. The back of the counterweight itself sometimes has like a hole with the pin in there. That would have been phenomenal here. This had none of that. There was zero lift points. There was zero, any points of contact. They try to use wood to crib the back of the cab in the beginning, but all that did was just smash that wood and it's all hollow right there before you get to the engine. So that's why you saw that piece of wood sticking out throughout the duration of the uh, end of the video. So small price to pay to getting this thing upright. We didn't even think it was gonna happen. We got this call from a crane company. I believe it was Reliable Crane. Shout out to you guys. I mentioned this in a lot of previous videos is we get a lot of these jobs simply because no one else can. That's not a bragging thing, but to have a 75 ton rotator which was crucial here. There's only, I think, three people in the surrounding Tri-County area that has them. It's Van Lingen, my good buddies, statewide, also my good buddies, and 10 West up north, also my good buddies, but they're all out of the area. Two is the space. Now, if it took Big Flipper, a truck that has the rear axle that can lift up to maneuver in tight spaces, you saw it took 40 minutes just to go, I wanna say, what, an eighth of a mile? If it took us that long in that truck, now, could you imagine a crane? a crane the size needed to lift up the 60,000 pound machine with the footprint and everything, it's literally impossible. So shout out to you know Reliable again and all the other crane companies that give us these crazy jobs. Keep them coming. We got close to quitting on this one, but we don't quit here. Really pushed us to uh, keep going, you know, re-rigging. Now as for the second and the third re-rig, that other excavator on site, huge help, huge, huge help. I kept saying the word dead man. So what a dead man is, uh, when you redirect one of your lines using a snatch block to what's supposed to be an immovable object to pull down, you know, at a low angle or at a different angle, you use snatch blocks to either change direction or double your lines, right? In this case, we were changing the direction to pull down on the thing because we couldn't get proper lift points for a true upright and the dirt was so soft, we needed it to plant as it came over. So using that excavator as a dead man was very awesome. Uh, it helped. A tiny bit in the beginning but it really helped that the the second or i think it's the third re-rig once we already got it up a good amount then the dead man helped because that other excavator was smaller so as you see in the video all it did was just pull it pull it pull it now even with the guy driving forward and the track spinning and the bucket inside of the sand buried it still pulled it that's how much force was needed to bring this thing up right 
And then to talk about the issue of the wall. Now our first plan didn't work, even though we were as close together as possible. I physically couldn't go any further back. If you guys want to, you know, rewind to the beginning, my rear outrigger was touching that porta potty in that gate. I couldn't physically go any more back and Alex couldn't go any more far forward or we couldn't get the boom underneath because of all those lines. So even though we were staggered, it was the best spot we had. It still was not too favorable because our boom lines, our line of action, I was pulling at almost an angle like this. Now that would have worked to bring the boom up, but without Alex being able to control the very rear, the counterweight part, all it kind of did was spin on us. And that's why you saw it move towards the wall. So to counteract that, I mean, we had to do, as you saw, multiple re-rigs, finally got that dead man working. Overall, an incredibly difficult job, high risk, high reward. We had to park, first of all, at the entrance of the street and we had to walk it. And when I seen that, I was like, bro, I don't even think we're gonna get our rotators in here. This, this might not be possible. Clearing all the cars is, is also impossible because there's people out of town. There's people that won't be back till late. People that work nights, it just, oh, and two of those cars just didn't even run. That Mini Cooper I was struggling with in the beginning backing up didn't run and the car in front of it didn't run. So I was about to call it quits and I, I told Alex, I'm gonna tell this guy I want X amount or we walk. So we made it work, you know, everyone went home happy. Of course, happy is relative, you know, we were all dead tired by the end and this accident did happen, it did flip on them, but like I said, we got it upright uh, in a favorable position. That excavator at the end, what it was doing was packing more sand underneath to get a more level ground, kind of, um push it over the other way with the sand so it wouldn't sink back down. And this job was two weeks ago now. So they didn't call us back, which means, you know, it didn't fall back over, the ground stayed and the mechanic fixed it. So I hope if any of these uh, points you guys were gonna come into the comments to address, that I addressed them here. If not, feel free to let me know how we did. I know it was brutal and like I said, not something we're bound to replicate soon. You know, if you guys enjoyed it, consider subscribing. If you see that counter here, it's probably out of focus, but that's a live YouTube counter. I'm so close to 150,000. So if you guys like it, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Start a civil discussion and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.